Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you something different. We got a new playbook. It's not the pay, not the Saints anymore. We got, we've been doing the Saints pretty much exclusively Saints and Bengals for a couple of weeks. So, so I decided to switch it up a little bit. Truthfully, though, uh, one of my Patreon members uh, hit me up and was like, "Yo, can you hook me up with a Raiders uh, scheme?" And I'm, I'm delivering on that. It's a little bit late. Um, I had, I did uh, that was like a, maybe like a couple weeks ago. I'm not always as quick as possible. I mean, it's the holiday season, so I'm definitely, uh, definitely as busy as. as many of you guys probably are out Christmas shopping and all that stuff, uh, checking on family and all that stuff, but I definitely planned on doing this a long time ago. There's some really good plays. This formation right here, this this I-form wing formation is one of my favorite formations out there. I, I put a, a couple plays out from the Green Bay Packers a while back, and uh, that was, you know, I don't I don't typically use the Raiders, but there's some really good plays out. If you use custom playbooks, uh, I have some, some, uh, some Packers plays out of this, and now I'm going to have some Raiders plays out of this. Uh, overall, I'm in a league now. I'm in a franchise league now, so I actually have um, uh, all of these plays like from both in my in my custom book there uh, which I'll try to put out for you guys but either way let's go ahead and let's get into the first play the first play that I really like is uh, a, a, it's a really great run formation and the, the probably the most obvious run play um, is the halfback toss this is a fire fire play right here so we're gonna go we're gonna pick that uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go on defense here. We're gonna go random three four. Give myself some. I got a challenge here. The Broncos, man. We'll be running right at Von Miller. I ain't worried about, I ain't worried about Von Miller. Let's go right at Von Miller's throat right now, and let's go and let's pound his rock with Marshawn. So I mean, first of all, I probably would want to run this from the open side of the field. Uh, that's one thing I would want to change. You can't always do that. I mean, you can't do that in gameplay, but just be beware of where you are on the field. You can run it from the middle. You just don't want to run it, like, from the short side. That'd be crazy. So you just make sure you run it from the middle to the left. Now, it's a pretty good play just like this. I'll go ahead and run it like this one time. It's not the best way to run it, but you can see, see the spread's not quite there. It's like a cluster of blocking kind of piles up. You got two pulling linemen here. You got this guy and this guy pulling, uh, which, you know, I probably should have put, like, I think this lineman's much faster than Gabe Jackson, so he might not get out and block. I might switch that up here in a minute. But the best way to do this is either to motion this guy out, hike it on the motion block. As you can see there, sometimes he kind of comes back inside. I had a lane there, man, but I just ran my blockers. No big deal. Um, or you can actually just put him all the way out. And I'll have some pass plays where putting him, putting your tight end all the way out will basically blend in. But you can see how he blocked nobody there. But you can see how it's still a pretty good play. If you had to block somebody, it would be great. So let's go ahead and let's do this a couple times to get a little bit of better consistency here. Uh, I mean, I wish I had a better uh, speed back. Marshawn Lynch is more of a power back. Uh, but let's see if we can just use my blocker here. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. We get that edge. And I don't know who that is. That looks like a face mask, you cheater. Yeah, since it's an outside run, you might want your fastest back in the backfield. I think I have a couple of guys faster than Marshawn, but, um, you know, Marshawn has that ability to break tackles. So we're going to go we're going to stick with him. Uh, see there, that cluster got up a little bit tight there. <laughs> All right, so let's get a couple of good runs. Now, the way that that safety's coming down, I'm not really feeling this look, but let's do it anyway. He's probably going to blitz and mess everything up. You know, we're going to get wide. We're going to get wide anyway, and we're going to get a little juke going on. Oh, my God, my blocker tackled me. Come on, 49, you suck. Yeah, so that's the play. Real simple. Like I said, I'd like to get a touchdown here. It's definitely a capable play um, if I could get some blocking on the edge. What's really messing up is these tight ends. Look at this tight end. He gets to the next level, but he basically lets the first guy go, and then I get past him. By the way, I'm averaging like 10 to 15 per carry, so who really cares? You know what I'm saying? If you have a, a little bit of a better back, not that Marshall, let's just get back, but if you have a little bit more speed at tailback, uh, you might be able to get a little bit more out of this. So we'll go and move on. Now, if you guys don't know, I like to put out entire schemes. I don't put out just single plates. So if you want to see uh, the part two of this game, there should be a part two, maybe even a part three. I don't know. I got a lot of plays. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, uh, this is all on my Patreon now. So it's really up to you if you guys want um, to check that out. Just join my Patreon. You get this stuff all early. So the second play, my second favorite play out of this formation is the PA tight end corner. When I first discovered this play, I thought it was a one play touchdown. It's not, but it's a really big play uh, against cover too, especially. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put somebody with a little bit of speed in the second tight end position. I'm not even sure which one of these guys that is, uh, but you definitely want a fast guy. Might have to research it a little bit before I pick the play. I think this is Kondo guy, if I'm not wrong. So we'll pick him. Like I said, it's 42 overall. Um, I'd probably be better off since that's going to be the big play. I think I'll actually switch it up. I'll put Walford in at the one, and I'll put I'll put Jared Cook in at the two. I don't want to mess this up. But this play, basically, uh, you you have a one one of these routes is a cover two beater, one of these routes is a cover three beater. I'll show you that. We'll go ahead and pick that, and we'll get going back in against uh, random 3-4. 
if you're playing against somebody and they don't use something big, then it's really up to you to just, you know, hit the audible button, switch over to one of these run plays. You got a couple of run plays if you're using the Raiders playbook. Um, but if they don't respect the fact you're in a two tight end set, that's what you got to do. So this is real simple. Only adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to put the circle right here on a streak. Now this looks like a cover four if I had to guess, or maybe it's like a cover three, show four, something like that. But if it's a cover two, Jared Cook is going to be right up the middle. And if it's a cover uh, three, Walford is going to be the guy. Now Walford's not really a great tight end. Jared Cook's a much better tight end. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll run it like this one time. Uh, looks like a man coverage actually, so that's actually a man beater out to Walford. Um, like I said, not the best speed on this guy, but he made it happen. So, I mean, the cover two concept too. Walford is a cover two concept with a Wale, uh, the tight, the fullback. If the full, if it's a cover two, they typically have a higher low between uh, R1 and the in uh, the X route. You can see here, and I got a pretty good athlete at tight at fullback here. He's a pretty good speed fullback. This is especially good against users because a lot of times in cover twos, that circle route will be like a mid read, and they'll basically pull coverage, but a lot of users won't follow. So that's what makes that especially good. Is he being covered by a cornerback right now and just burning it? That's a really good man beater route if you can't tell. He's actually safety. But uh, what Walford's doing, that double, it's almost like a double post, is a really hard route um, to cover for a lot of, uh, we're gonna go take the check down here. For a lot of, uh, a lot of man coverage is that, that all that movement, it's hard for man to keep up. Not really getting that big cover two beater like I was saying. Uh, this here looks like a cover three, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Cook on a fade because that'll help out a little bit more um, to get the uh, the X route open. You can see how he pulls that. Just by that little bit of a fade, he'll get that open a little more. If I had kept him on a streak, though, he probably would have been open more on the streak by himself. But here we go. Looks like we got another man coverage. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the break. Like I said, that that is just such a good man cover beater. I mean, that round particularly is good against most things. So I didn't really get the cover two look that I want. But like I said, that cover two look is really more about um, user middle linebackers and cover twos, not... Uh, paying attention to what they're doing and you could also put Cooper I really didn't say you could put Cooper on a slant if you think that you can bait a cover two middle linebacker user to stay down the slant is going to be good for that and that'll help cook it open that much easier um, so a couple different things you can do this. so we'll go ahead and move on to the next play I'll go ahead and I'll finish part one with uh, another run play uh, probably the last run play that I'm going to show maybe in the whole series although I might have another run play in the next one but either way the Oakland off tackle um, is to me I, I there's a variation of this that I already had out in the uh, in the Packers playbook and this is a really good uh, run formation so I'll finish with that part two we mostly pass plays so if you want to see part two make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comment section I'll be sure to put that out other than that like I said all my patreon now but either way let's go ahead and let's get into um, this play like I said it's not the, the first play I showed is typically more explosive the toss is typically a much more explosive run play but this is definitely nothing to, to you know this is a really good run play too so we'll go ahead and pick that and we'll keep going random through four and D now, you can run it just like this. You can motion out the tight end the same way I did the last play, but I actually think it's better to flip it. And I already motioned the guy out just to show that look for whatever reason, but it's a really good, <laughs> it's a really good, it's basically like a stretch. But I actually like to flip it and uh, send this guy over and basically even out the even out the set. Uh, don't ask me why I'd rather do this, especially since I'm doing it to the short side of the field, but you can just see how the blocking just holds up just so well. I mean, like I said, it's basically like a stretch play with extra blocking. Most stretch plays don't have fullbacks. That's what makes this play so unique is uh, stretch plays are typically by yourself in the backfield. So this is just extra blocking on an already dominant concept. Let's see if we can get outside again. Look at that blocking. Look at that blocking. Like I said, way better than the pulling, trapping, tossing plays. Yeah, the reason that plays like this work a lot better than tosses and, and, and uh, you know sweeps and stuff like that is because linemen aren't pulling. When linemen typically are pulling, um, this is a man cover, I should have went the other way. When linemen are typically pulling, uh, they have a hard time figuring out, the AI has a hard time figuring out of who they're supposed to be blocking. So they'll basically, um, you know, they, they'll get lost in, in space. Where here, who they're blocking is right in front of them. Now you see it's a man coverage, so I've rotated that guy over. I'm gonna go to the naked side now uh, because I, I don't want to, oh my goodness, oh, and I didn't do the thing. I was like, I had more of that. Uh, but yeah, if it's a man coverage, you basically want to um, just, you know, let the let the uh, let the the guy out of the way. Uh, let the uh, tight end lead the the cornerback out of the way. But basically, like I said, I like going this way because you have a blocking receiver and a blocking tight end. It's a little bit better than the other way. So you can see this is just a really uh, easy play. Like I said, motioning this guy over, balancing out the formation, uh, running it to the wide receiver side, and then getting wide is typically the best way to go. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. And then, like I said, there are some plays, you know, the motion, I motion Cook out, and I motion to the left, I motion to the right. 
there are plays in part two that will hide those, um, you know, basically uniform these plays. Like I always do. In my schemes, I always uniform them to look the same. So if you want to see that, hit the like button for that, and I probably can put that out. This video is going to come out Thursday, so that'll probably come out Saturday. So if you guys want to see that on Saturday, uh, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out.